Nepal's trade deficit has reached alarming heights, crossing Rs 460 billion in the first four months of the current fiscal year. This staggering figure, as indicated by official statistics from the Customs Department, highlights a significant imbalance between what the nation imports and what it exports. In the first four months, Nepal's total imports amounted to Rs 51,338 billion, reflecting a slight increase of Euro 17% compared to the previous year. Conversely, exports remain distressingly low at only Rs 52, 67 billion, leading to a colossal trade deficit of Rs 460, 71 billion out of a total foreign trade volume of Rs 5665 billion. The numbers paint a vivid picture of the economic challenges faced by the country. A deeper dive into the data reveals the extent of Nepal's trade relationship with India, its largest trading partner. The trade deficit with India alone surpasses Rs 281 billion with imports from India valued at approximately Rs. 317 billion. This dependency on Indian imports is substantial, particularly in essential commodities such as diesel worth Rs. 294 billion, petrol at Rs. 21, 56 billion, and LPG valued at Rs. 1885 billion. Furthermore, significant quantities of iron products and smartphones add to the complexity of this reliance. On the other hand, despite an increase of four, 16% in exports compared to the same period last year, Nepal's export figures remain modest. Among the few notable exports are carpets valued at Rs. 3, 6 billion, followed by soybean oil at Rs. 3, 41 billion, tea at Rs. 2, 21 billion, and cardamom worth Rs. 19 billion. These figures illustrate the struggle Nepal faces in balancing its foreign trade. The widening trade deficit signals an urgent need for Nepal to reassess its trade policies and explore avenues to bolster domestic production. As the gap between imports and exports continues to grow, the nation may find itself increasingly vulnerable to external economic pressures. Addressing this imbalance will require innovative solutions that focus on enhancing local industries and reducing dependency on foreign goods. Furthermore, sustaining growth in exports will be vital for Nepal's economic stability. Developing strategies to promote and market its unique products such as organic agricultural goods and handicrafts, could play a significant role in reversing the current trend. With the right approaches, Nepal can aim for a more balanced trade scenario in the future. The situation calls for immediate attention to ensure a sustainable economic outlook.